Hi Aquarius, welcome to Love Full Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your love reading for the month of December 2022. This is going to be for any Aquarius looking for any guidance and messages in their daily love lives. Remember if this doesn't resonate with you, there'll be other videos for you that will. And of course, this is going to be for any Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus Aquarius in their charts. Okay, cross watchers, most welcome as well. So. Let's begin with your reading, Aquarius. I'm going to start off with one card from the Romance Angel Oracle deck here. Then we're going to draw a nine card spread, past, present, and future. Then we're going to clarify with some more cards. And at the end, we're going to go through a couple of uh, Oracle cards. So, Universe, what is in store for Aquarius, please? Let's start with your reading. Universe, please tell me what is coming up for Aquarius right now, please. So, your theme will be engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So it doesn't have to be full engagement here. It's just a uh, commitment level will be increased. You will be finding yourself uh, committed more to this person. Your connection grows. Your love life in general could be several suitors. So it doesn't have to be just one individual. You may be resonating at a high level where a lot of people are engaged in you okay so it doesn't have to be engagement for some i'm getting for the majority it is definitely you getting people's attention this month so whatever it is you're doing aquarius let's continue on with your reading universe let's get a message here for aquarius please for the month of december what is coming up tell me more about their past present and future what is coming up for Aquarius, please? All right. So start with your past energy first, Aquarius. First card out is the strength card. Strong Leo energy here as well. Your next card is the four of cups in reverse. Very interesting. We'll get into that in a second. And your last card here is the eight of swords. So I'm sensing a lot of anxiety that a lot of you have had lately. In the past even this may not be something that's past you some of you are concerned here about a certain issue here or a person that you may be falling for but the four of cups in reverse tells me that some of you may not reciprocate to someone or someone's ignoring your call to love here your cups that you're offering Strength card, like I said, could be Leo, but it could also be the energy that you take into this relationship. You are the stronger one. You are the one controlling things. You are the one making things happen between the two of you. Emotionally, I feel like you didn't connect the way that you wanted to. So this could be their energy or yours, but there's a feeling of disconnect here. Someone may not see the reality of this connection. They're blinded by it through fear, possibly. But this could also be your energy, which is an anxious energy. Okay. Some of you may want to hide from this person or avoiding this person. I'm not sure why I'm getting that, but let's continue on with your present energy. Okay. So Aquarius, your next card is the chariot. There's love coming in right now for you. Wow, okay, next is the Nine of Cups. Very nice. And lastly, for your present energy, we have the Star in Reverse. I'm getting for some of you, okay, with the Chariot here, that there was either love coming or coming to you now. The Nine of Cups, this could be someone who can make you very happy. But with the Star in Reverse, Aquarius is represented here as well. I'm getting here for a lot of you that this person may not be your type. This person may be different from what you view as your ideal person. But you're going to feel connected to this person. And even though it's something that you, maybe you didn't exactly wish for, this is something that is a soul connection between you two that you're willing to overlook your checklist, right? 
Okay, so let's take a look at your future energies. We're going to draw clarifiers for all these in a bit, okay? So for your future energies, we have the Five of Cups. Someone's hurt about something here in the near future. Oh, we have the Devil card, Capricorn energy as well. Devil card can mean some sort of bad connection I'm getting here. Or someone's tempting to... Uh, make this relationship work or this connection but someone has other intentions here and then we have the queen of wands so there's someone here coming up in your near future five of cups with the devil and the queen of wands tells me that this is someone that you're highly attracted to or addicted to they may not be the best for you and somehow they may break your heart they may play mind games with you. You may get defensive here or start self-doubting yourself. Some of you have this sense of loss. So I'm seeing two individuals here possibly. This chariot and star represents a new love and connection from someone that you haven't ever met. And down here, we have someone else coming in that's also engaged in your energy who happens to be very sexy to you and you're very attracted to this person. But it's almost like a no-win situation for you. There's so much pain here that's like from past connections with this person. So some of you may have dealt with this person here before. Let's get some more uh, clarifiers on the situation and we'll get a better idea for you, okay, Aquarius? So, we're going to start your past energies with the strength card first for you. Aquarius, what is, uh, universe, what is coming up for Aquarius, please? What is coming up for Aquarius? So, starting with the strength card, we're going to do three clarifiers for each. And here we go. So, clarifying the strength card here in your past. We have the Fool. Wow. King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. The strength. So you went, this strength that you've garnered for yourself and this experience and your sense of belonging here is due to something that you've changed, that you decided to let go of and you began a new uh, start for yourself with the emperor here. It's like you took control of everything that you needed to here. Okay Any inconsistencies or uh, Areas in your life that you felt you needed to work on a lot of you have taken back charge of this and including your confidence and your communication skills Some of you have really upped the ante on that. Okay now nine of pentacles as well. You are shining bright Aquarius there's this energy with this exuding from the strength card. You, you're single. You have beautiful energy here. You're definitely attracting people and getting people's attention here. But where does this sadness come from here? Four of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Someone's not reciprocating, like I said. Let's find out more. Universe, tell me more about the Four of Cups, please. For uh, Aquarius, tell me more about the Four of Cups for Aquarius, please. Four of Cups in reverse, please. Okay, here we go. Clarifying the Four of Cups in reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Star in reverse again. Double confirmation. And we have the Ten of Wands. Again. Hmm. Could be an earth sign some of you are dealing with. Again, this Aquarius is popping up again. Could be a different Aquarius. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn as well with the Queen of Pentacles here. It seems like this person doesn't see you as someone that they, uh, they'd like to be with. And it's their own vision of what they see in a lover or seek in a lover. You don't fit that criteria for them. And the struggle is with the Ten of Wands is it's like you've been putting work and energy into this and feeling as if 
you're tired now and you can't do it anymore. You're feeling strained, Aquarius. It's like taking up your thought and energy. It's exhausting. Okay, anyway, take it as it resonates. Let's go with the Eight of Swords next for Aquarius, please. Tell me about this struggle with the Eight of Swords here for Aquarius, please. Universe, tell me more about this Eight of Swords for Aquarius. Okay, let's clarify. So, first we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. And the Queen of Wands. Okay. Could be definitely fire in here or water you're dealing with. There's a sense of fear that this person doesn't want to give up there. They also don't want to give up what they have. This could be you or them, but it's coming from them stronger to me, I feel. It could be you as well. Ace page, oh, sorry, page of wands in reverse. There's no spark for them. Queen of wands, but someone, but they definitely feel like you are someone who's very trusting, very uh, creative energy, very vivacious. There's just something missing for this person as to why they don't want to connect with you. For others, you've been burned before and you were happy and you have to stop thinking about uh, sex for a lot of you. Some of you jump right into sex I'm getting here. May not always be the best um, choice <laughs> Those relationships sometimes don't last as long. But anyway, that is entirely up to you, whatever happened there. Let's take a look at the chariot next in your present energy for you, Aquarius, okay? What is coming up for Aquarius right now? The chariot, please. Chariot, please. Oops, that's bent. Didn't mean that. Okay, let's figure that out. Okay. The hermit. Very nice. Page of Cups, the Sun in Reverse. This is still very good. Like I said, there's someone coming through here. Could be Virgo, could be Water, could be Strong Leo, Chariot, Strong Cancer. It doesn't have to be any of those, but Cancer is definitely reading twice here for me. If it's not any of these individuals you're dealing with who's coming through here, the Chariot, clarified by the Hermit and the Page of uh, cups is you're opening yourself back up to love because a lot of you have had this time to work on yourself but think about what you've done in the past and what you need to do now some of you are very wise you've been doing this for a while you understand what you have to offer here okay and you are in this mode of flirtatious energy here with the page of uh, cups so a lot of you feel as if right now you're open to meeting anybody, opening up to new connections, seeing where things go, networking for some of you, but having a good time as well. But the sun card, it's like, you know what makes you happy. And I know that it's a challenge for you and you may not be really open to more a more serious connection just yet and this may be the first step for a lot of you okay Aquarius I'm getting a sense here where you've had your chance to uh, regenerate or uh, rethink certain things in your life and you've moved and chosen love and you will you want to find something that'll be consistent for you for the long term but you also know that flirting or giving just a lighter vibe energy here and not making any huge commitments is maybe the wiser thing to do right now for yourself you still may be in this process i'm getting some of you need to go through a certain thing or 
a couple more relation like smaller relationships before you're ready for the big one and it's almost something that you know already okay so let's get into the nine of cups next for aquarius please universe tell me more about the nine of cups please for aquarius sorry okay nine of cups please for aquarius Ten of Swords. Oh, Gemini. Sorry, uh, Lover's card. I'm just seeing the signs come through. And then we have the King of Cups. Strong water here as well. So. Hmm. This person has been through some sort of pain. This person doesn't like to open up their emotions too much. They've been through some sort of sticky situation here in the past. Or they may not be completely over someone that they're dealing with here. For others, they're done with whatever they were dealing with here and they've been hurt in the past here. But they may not be open to a connection just yet. Or it's not something that they're able or you're able to commit to. Like I said before, right? So you could be also keeping your feelings in, vice versa. Feeling it more from them though. If they are not into anything serious yet either, for some of you, they may be closed off with their emotions because of some sort of trauma that they've been dealing with here in the past. But somehow with the Nine of Cups underneath, uh, clarifying the Nine of Cups, they are still someone who's going to fall for you. They are still going to have and intuitively they're going to know that this is a connection that they can't ignore either. Vice versa. But let's take a look at what your star here is in reverse. Universe, tell me more for Aquarius about the star in reverse, please. Why is it here? Like I said, I'm thinking it's definitely... A message about you and your type let's find out okay ace of wands okay so this may be someone that you didn't think you were attracted to but you certainly are attracted to this person most definitely five of cups and the page of pentacles you may not see this person right away Or they may not have been your type, but they're definitely attractive. Page of Pentacles. There may have been a connection between the two of you before, or you've either received some sort of offer from them and you didn't take it or you ignored it, or you didn't take on certain, uh, they gave you certain hints and a lot of you avoided this or didn't see this offer. Maybe a bad time as well. This could be someone that you didn't see coming. And a lot of you are still hung up about certain qualities that you miss from another person here. You're not seeing what's being presented to you. Okay, let's take a look at the Five of Cups next in your future energy. Universe, tell me more about the Five of Cups, please. Let's check in the time. Okay, so, Aquarius, clarifying the Five of Cups. Five of Wands, two fives. Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Cups. Hmm. You're upset about some sort of competition or struggle here that's happening for you between you and someone else here. Your personalities may be clashing or you may have gotten into a little bit of a spat here. But, Wheel of Fortune next. It's almost as if it brings you closer together. Queen of Cups. Someone was definitely sad over this. It was very emotionally draining. And even after things work out for a reason, it's still emotionally draining for some of you. So, who is this person? 
Why do you feel lucky to have them here? But why do they bring you so much uh, struggle here? Why do they make you think a certain way? Let's find out about the devil. Universe, tell me about the devil card for Aquarius, please. Devil card for Aquarius. Okay. So clarifying with the six of cups in reverse, the eight of cups in reverse, and the queen of swords in reverse. This is someone from your past that you haven't been able to let go. That's coming back into your life here. Eight of cups in reverse. You have not given up on them in some ways. Some of you have kept some of your cups for this individual here. Queen of swords. This is someone here. Could be air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this could be someone who shut you out or stopped talking to you, stopped communicating with you. Mm, they may have done something to you. Lied to you even. Manipulated you or weren't. Someone who didn't want you. I'm getting here, they said no and they walked away maybe. I'm not sure. But they, there was definitely a point of no communication here for sure. And it stings you. And it eats away at you. But your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. But are you committing yourself to a person that's hurt you in the past. Something may work out for you here in your near future that may hurt your feelings about this person from your past who's been driving you mad, of course. Queen of Wands, please. Queen of Wands, four Aquarius, please. Tell me more. Judgment in reverse. Definitely someone from your past. Two of cups in reverse. Oh, Knight of pentacles. Okay, so slow moving energy. Something needs to be decided here with the judgment in reverse about this person. They may bring this exuberant energy, but you may find that this is something that maybe isn't right for you. Maybe they're too attractive to you, or maybe they've hurt you in the past and you're afraid of making connections again. And you keep making the same mistakes here over and over again, picking the wrong type, going for a certain look. Two of cups in reverse, connections, choices, but definitely something that may not work out and you refuse to see it. The um, Knight of Pentacles, you may be overly cautious, taking this a bit slower again, but you've been burned by this person before. So you wonder if they're going to hurt you again. So you tread slowly. But you have a thing for this person, whoever this is. They may not even be meeting you halfway. They haven't decided on you. It just feels as if you will be moving towards them even though they may not be giving you a hundred percent of what they should be okay but that's entirely up to you all right let's get a couple of uh hidden truths here and messages of love so there's two people coming in here there's someone here in your future that may be coming back that will be tempting to you and you may definitely tread lightly but you're Still have a weak spot for this person. They brought you some sort of pain in the past here. But something with the Wheel of Fortune, maybe the right timing again, I'm not sure. Something happens here that creates this new energy again. And then we have this star in reverse here. Someone here that's you're not seeing necessarily because you're so occupied with this other person here. So, okay. I'm starting to understand our connection. It could be you for you. It could be from them. Let's get another one. Oracle for Aquarius, please. 
tell me more for Aquarius. Okay, we both know I am not the one for you. So, you may feel this way against a certain person here, like you're not good enough. This other person, because they're not your type, they may feel this way. Maybe they feel that you think this way about them, of course, because you're still stuck on someone else, someone from your past that you can't let go yet, that maybe they're even in a relationship or they've hurt you in the past. You don't learn your lessons, but you're moving towards something with them. So for some, you may be increasing this connection between this person. For others, it's an area where you'll be wasting a lot of your energy. Okay, so let's find out a couple more messages of love here. For Aquarius, please. Universe, tell me more for Aquarius. Let's get a couple messages of love, please. Some messages of love. Okay, abundance and healing. So healing old wounds. And childhood issues need revisiting. Stuff from your past, stuff from this person, maybe even abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So like I said, you are in, or you were at least in a nine of pentacles energy here. Chariot here coming through for you right now in the nine of cups. There is definitely a lot of connection and love coming through to you right now. Whether or not you choose a new person or your old person here you're going to be connected for the month of December, all right? Okay, so Aquarius, I hope this resonated. Again, if it doesn't, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and notifications for any new updates. really helps to grow the channel. Guys, I'm just starting out, but please believe in me. Um, this will be a great place for you to always come uh, for any uh, uh, peace and messages and uh, guidance. So Aquarius, I'll say goodbye to you now. Thanks for watching till the end. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.